Battle of Lightspeed Quiz 2016 Round 3 at Rochdale. On the question is Mr. Mark Preston. We're having 60 questions. We'll have two batches of 30. Um, no, three is 20. Next, three is 20. Whatever. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, basically what you see here is the creme de la creme. Uh, we see the best players in the middle. And uh, we've got the, the rubbish on the outside. Uh, um, it, this is for the positions one to seven. And the final place in the quiz. We're playing for these medals. We're playing for um, a gross medal, a net medal. And we've got something a little for later on, which Mark might have got a look at um, on the scores, it's, it's Jack Steve. His name's Steve Charles, but we just call him Jack now. So many Steve's here. Um, don't forget in the audience to give us some hoops and hollers for the good answers and stuff like that. That's the spirit. Uh, look at three rookies as well, all there together making plans for next month, I hope. We're off the <laughs> Yeah, wake me up when you're ready. <laughs> off you go, is Mark! Is the score for the final, or is, that, is it included? Right, gentlemen! No, this, uh, the is, this separate, this is separate. We start from scratch for the what final, positions one to seven. Right, cool. Right, cool. Oh, I'd, see a, I'd see a previous goal, though. Hey, that's the that's score. No, no, that's a that's your next, yeah. The money goes to your next score, your gross score. That's we start from scratch for this now. Right? You do want to start from scratch. Good luck, everybody. Jack. Right, gentlemen, good luck. The first leg of the uh, final 20 questions coming up from my good self. Question one, if you're ready, good luck. Named after a historical personage, which Scottish band won the 2004 <laughs> Mark Laycock. Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand won the 2004 Mercury Prize for their self titled debut album. Number two, whose murder took place at the Burla House on 30th of January 1940? Jack. Gandhi. Gandhi is correct. 30th of January 1948. Third question. <coughs> With its headquarters in Wigan, which nation, sorry, national environmental charity, Clive? Keep Britain today. Oh, cracking answer, yeah, long answer as well. Um, which environmental charity was first registered in 1960? Well, Cohen 69. Celebrities as Mark Bowler, Morecambe and Wise, and more significantly, the Wombles have helped promote their cause. Good answer, Clive. Number four. Well, wait for a question, wasn't it? Really? <laughs> it was, but it's still a good answer. Trained by Gordon Elliott, ridden by Brian Cooper, which horse, the 94 favourite, won the Cheltenham Gold Club eight days ago? Jack. Don Cassack beat Jackaram, who I still think Simon's a bit of points for, from early this afternoon. Number five. Which was the first British TV programme? To give away a million pounds, Michael. TFI Friday. It was indeed. Good answer. A million pounds as a prize. A million pounds. <laughs> Number six. Frank Kelly, better known as Father Jack, who died last week. Clive. Emma Dillon. Lose a point. <laughs> but in which 19. 1969. Oh, 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 sorry. In which 1969 film, with an opening sequence shot in the Great Bernard Pass, did he have his first role? What, Jack. Italian job. Italian job. Did he have his first role, albeit uncredited? Seven. Which brand of blended Scottish whisky was named after the coaching inn on the Royal Mile in Edinburgh? From where the London stagecoach departed. Uh, Steve Kidd. Johnny Walker no. Bells. <laughs> Don't lose a point, the question was over. Mark. Famous Grouse. Not Famous Grouse. Uh, Jack. Tolomon Not Tolomon Sam. Glenn Fidder. Nope. Glenn. How dare you? Tony, Clive, Mike, free shot. Don't do blended whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Clive, Mike, it's up to you. Free shot. Clive. Not Glen Morangi. No, not Glen Morangi. It's not blended. You've played a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Michael, hey, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe there's an obvious one that everybody's missing. Uh, Michael, you've got a free shot, a uh, blended whiskey, which six have gone before you. I can't think of it. All yours. Right. No? Nope. No, I'm not going to White horse. White horse. Ah, oh, white horse. You don't see it right Right, we're up to question eight. Which country's flag 
is red with a silhouette to black double headed E. Michael. Albania. Albania is correct. Number nine. If Clint Eastwood is the good, Lee Van Cleef is a Jack. Eli Wallach. Eli Wallach. <laughs> Lee Van Cleef is a bad. Well, this looks like a Christmas ten tree. Times there. Uh, yeah, uh, point, point no two. two. Oh. Quicker than you, Steve. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sam and Mark are tied. Sorry, Eli. Oh. Question 10. Politically, what connects Alistair Carmichael in Scotland and Mark Williams in Wales? No. Steve Kidd. Uh, the leader of the National Party. No. Don't lose a point. Tony. It's the Scottish and Welsh secretaries. Nope. Uh, Michael, uh, Mark? Speakers of the various parliaments? No. Nope. Mark? Fathers of the various... No. Nope. <laughs> Jack? <laughs> nope, Jack. Uh, so that, that leaves Sam and, and, and... Clive, just a free shot. Clive? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sam? Baby of the house. <laughs> no. It was, aimed, it was aimed at for Andy Kelly if he was here. They are the only Lib Dem MPs in each of the countries. Scotland and Wales. That was aimed at Andy Kelly if he turned up. Eleven. Steppenwolf, The Birds and the Jimi Hendrix Experience were all on the soundtrack of which... No! Tony. Born to be wild. Um, no, Born to be wild. No, can't take that out. Uh, Steve. It's one away, yeah. One away, Tony. Steve. Monty Pop? No. Lose a point. Uh, so Clive? Easy Rider. Easy Rider. Yeah. All on the soundtrack of which 1969 film? Good, good pick up, Clive. Uh, Tony and Steve lose yeah. a point there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. Number 12. Which American TV series, originally shown in 1978 and remade in 2004? Mike? Outside Galactica. Good answer, good answer. I, I gave Steve Rhodes that. Didn't Follows I? the crew of the eponymous starship as they fight against the robotic Cylons. It's got women in as well. Thirteen. What is the capital of the American state of New York? Steve Kidd. Oh, Albany is correct. Oh, <laughs> you don't let those ones drop. Down, never. <laughs> Seven of you. Quickest on the buzzer. The largest island in the Caribbean by area. Michael. Cuba. Lose a point. Is Cuba, also, which also, by area, is the second largest oh, whoa, 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 island. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, Sorry. Got three yeah. 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 So it's Jack, Jack. Jack next. Well, Michael was first. He, he, he loses a point because yeah. he went for Cuba. Yeah. Then yeah, it Jack. should be on to Jack. Jamaica. Not Jamaica. You lose a point, Jack, as well. Sam. Sam. The second largest island in the Caribbean. No, Steve. It's Paniola. Which we had about three hours ago, and I just stopped laughing with Tony's, Tony's question. We had virtually that same question. <laughs> 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 well, I you know, there. It's tough here at the top. Have you been saying the second largest island? What's the and then put it swerving? I think that's the thing. Are they going to give us two countries or whatever? Yeah, I'm not using that It's a bit suspect. What's it with that? Putting a swerve we've been going. It's quicker on the Well, I meant it in relation to about three hours ago on Tony yeah, Set. Very, very, very yeah, you lost me point. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Along the same lines as the last question. Oh, no. Which is the largest landlocked county in England? <laughs> Steve. Derbyshire. Not Derbyshire. Tony. Shropshire. Shropshire is correct. Uh, I'm happy with Don't lose a point, Steve. Sixteen. Leonard. Albert, Brian, Dennis were the full Christian names of four of the seven main characters from which TV series, mainly set from the 1980s? That's Sam. Alvida Sam Pets. Leonard is Oz, Albert Moxie, yeah, Brian yeah, Bomber, great question. Dennis, uh, like Neville, and, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Wayne. I mean, Wayne okay. Number 17, Big Brother. Was the very first episode in 1981, Jack, <laughs> only fools and horses, of which classic TV series? Just said he's doing it for Master. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, well, that makes a difference. Number 18. Which is the only planet in the solar system which rotates? No! Jack. Venus. 
rotates on its axis clockwise. Correct. Yes. Correct. How far was it behind him? Can somebody tell me? Point one nine of a second. You're a jammy. Get. 19, penultimate question. The 2016 World Snooker Championships will start at the Crucible next month. But who is the current Clive? Bingham. Yeah, Stuart Bingham will give you that two points. Stuart Bingham. And the last question. Held on the 6th of June 2015, with a winning score of 161 out of 210, Jack Bennett, Ola, Steen Olaf Biotta to be exact. Great, we'll give you great, great, great. There you go, Jack. Well done, mate. There's my 20, guys. And we'll discuss about the screw and we'll keep a question later. Next 20, let's rock there, on with it. Steve. Have a no, draw the best of the last 20 questions. Yeah, yeah, well, you want to. Right, I don't know. Have you, got have you got another 20? Yeah, I always do double because he always runs off. Right, let's have a see if we can work this thing out. Yeah. You might have to guide me through for a moment. How do I, is that how we... Jack right. Bennett! Click on that. Yeah. You are in Ooh, good bit, shape, yeah. mate! Yeah. Start it. Start it. Yeah. Yeah. Currently, then if you click on that bar there, hold the position. Example, so all you've got to do is press once. This bar, no, no, space bar. No, no, that, again. Yeah, that, that, that bar there. That's it. So then we don't bust it. Then whenever you just. It's on the name for two points and minus one for those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay right, just bear with me a second. I'll make a booby on the, on the old computer things. Right. When are you ready? Start. Okay. Yeah, ready? Um, start. Go. Yeah. Oh. Okay then. Which inland lake to the west of Belfast is Ireland's largest? Steve. Loch Ness. Correct. Two points to Steve. Cycled round it only five months ago. Boring. Yeah, let's put myself down. Ready? Off yeah. we go. Name the Shakespearean character. King with three daughters. <laughs> Mark, just. Leah. Correct. Mark, Baker. I've got two in a row, yeah. Name the Shakespearean character who plots the downfall of Othello. Steve. Quickly, quickly, Steve. No, no, no. 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 Uh, I've finished. You've yeah, finished, Michael? Mike? Diago. Diago is correct. Diago. So, two for Mike. Yeah. Okay then. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension not only of sight. Well, Clive. Twilight Zone. Correct. Oh. Twilight Zone. Two for Clive. Oh, it's very tricky, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's very fast. What is the card dealer at a gaming table called? Mark. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Two for Mark. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Apple polluted our music collection by automatically. Mark. You two. Correct. Mark's making a comeback. What cabinet post did Winston Churchill hold between? Jack. Uh, no. Lose a point. Lose a point for Jack. Matt Laycock, Foreign Matt Laycock. Laycock, yeah. Foreign Chef. Nope. Is that a point loss? That's Yeah, point, point loss. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. I'm going to go for defence. I'm going to go for defence. No. Is that a point? Yeah. That's a point loss. So, Tony? Home Secretary. No. Nope. Home loss. Sam? Laws of the Admiralty. No. Nope. Five. 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 Correct. Oh! Two points, boys. Oh. Boom! Boom. <laughs> Did you in the Jarrow match? Uh, 24 to 29. Oh, two Jarrow match? He was general strike. What was it? No, Jarrow match was 30 odd was Jarrow, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay then. Which rock singer starred as Velma von Tussle in the original 1988 film of Hairspray? Tommy. Correct. Good morning, Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. What generally weekly activity was described by Prime Minister Harold Wilson as going to seem... Jack. No. Oh, have I pressed? Lose a point. Lose a point. Jack, Michael, Michael next up. Uh, visiting the Queen. It is, yes. Good answer, Mike. Two points to Mike. 
Yeah. It's tidying things up a bit. Yeah. Name the element with the symbol BR. Steve. Proby. Correct. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Who was the Roman goddess of marriage? Jack. Jack. No. Is that the end of the question? Uh, that's the end of the question, yes. Right. Don't lose anything, Jack. So Tony. Oh, Tony and Steve, exactly the same. No, uh, yeah, yeah Tony and Steve. Exactly the same. No. Uh, that was Stephen. So it's Sam then. So it's Sam. 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 Astana is a capital. Oh no. Jack. Correct. <laughs> no sense, no How many people were in there? No sense. <laughs> what was uh, they five, uh, point three seven in the second between the five of you. <laughs> <laughs> How many other things go with Astana? Yeah. In which musical does the song You'll Never Steve Kid? Show Boat. No. Is, is that Lose Point? It's yeah. lose a point, yeah. Lose a point to uh, Mr. Kid. No, no, no. no. Uh, Sam. Carousel. It is carousel, yes. Two points, Sam. <laughs> if I'd shot myself earlier, I'd shoot myself again now. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Irwin Allen produced series that brought us the phrase. Sorry, it should say. Which Irwin Allen produced series that brought us the phrase Danger Will Robinson, Danger? Name it. <laughs> Michael, lost in space. It is, yes. Okay. Now why is that not? Ah, right. Let's click, click anywhere on, anywhere on here. Anywhere on here. Yeah. yeah. And then go back again. to it. There. And you go. Yeah. Okay then. What year did Alaska and Hawaii become? Jack, just fifty-nine. Correct. Good answer, Jack. All right, five to go. Which river flows through Perth? That's Steve, just again. Tay. Correct. Steve killed two points. Yeah. Perth. Oh, what was going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Perth, <laughs> isn't it? You know, it, it? Kind of every two light speed it crops up and you think, which Perth is it going to be? Yeah, it's just a spot there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The Roman Emperor Claudius died after we eating which poisonous foodstuffs? Steve Kidd just. Oh, okay. a headlock. No. Is that what you're pointing out? No, no, no. Michael? Toadstools. That's poisonous mushrooms. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No! <laughs> no, he, he, he doesn't want you to. Okay, good. Name the TV series. He arrived from Orc in an. <laughs> oh, Mark and Clive were exactly the spot on the top. Was that even in there? No, point ten of a second behind. Mark and Clive. Yeah, they've both got it. Give me. It is more convenient. That's yes. a point each, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Clive gets just one, one there, yeah? And uh, Mark gets a point there, you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Okay then. I love that sound effect. Arenstad is the capital of which? Jack. Jack. Just. Correct. Oh, oh good. Jack Not a main goes. sequence capital. Yeah. Hang on, I need to click on this thing over here to give him a chance or two. There you yeah. go. Final question. Where was Michael Grade working when he was called the pornographer? What? Steve Kidd. Oh, I've got to say stupid BBC. No. There's a point. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Laycock. Channel 4. Correct. Well done, Mark. Uh, Look at that. Next set. Are we going to break uh, uh, This is the last 20 questions of Q12 2016. <coughs> Volume 3, Tournament 3. Uh, currently, it looks like... Uh, the people over here, uh, well, actually they're down there on the screen, uh, Michael and uh, Jack uh, just bowling along famously, and it looks like they're duking it out for the top spot, a place in Q12 and uh, the, the gold medal. Uh, in the net competition, which uh, you may see on screen, you may not, but Mark Preston's worked it out that it's between 
uh, two uh, <laughs> assassins who went to Bruges last month. But he's 11 points in front, so basically I need 11 points to catch him up for the money. And uh, it's between you two, it's touch and go. I think with about five questions to go, we'll have a reassessment of the situation to see how you're going. Good luck, both of you. Everybody's done brilliant today, especially the rookies. Um, good luck, everybody. We need to reset the. What do you mean, uh, Let's go. Okay, last straight. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> Number one, published in January this year, the actual one is a memoir by which comedian and actress. Best known for playing Dobby in the Channel 4 sitcom. Steve. Steve Kidd first. Yeah. Hey. Hey, 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 Jack. Kate Robbins. No. Minus one. Sam. Oh, no, not minus. Sorry, no minus. Sussy. It, it is minus one. You did not finish the question. No, I had finished. Okay. Yeah. Sussy. Yeah, is he sutty? So that's two to. Two to sutty. You know, is he sutty? <laughs> she was in Shameless. Look, him naked. Thingy, the, the, the watch me. Well, she was in what he said, Dobby. Okay. Red lights flashing on the cameras, by the way. That one? Yeah, that, that one. And? That is. Yeah, we just moved it a bit. Okay. Ready Sorry about that. Yeah. No worries. Number two. The members of which legendary rock group backed PJ Proby? Please. Oh, no. Tony. Oh, Tony. The Surgers. No. Minus one. Any other guesses? Uh, you're not finished yet. No. Uh, yeah. Um, on his 1969 album Three Week Hero, mm -hmm. under the name of the New Yardbirds. <laughs> Steve Kidd. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Oh. Nine points. That's oh, that's totally above there. Totally above there. Okay. Question three. Doncaster born wrestler Gary Cooper mm -hmm. took his ring name from the title character of which night? Michael. Michael. No. Ooh, minus one. Don't I'll read it again. Doc Astabon wrestler Gary Cooper took his ring name from the title character of which 1970s kids TV series? No, 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 that was just the minus noise. That's the minus noise. Oh, yeah, sorry. Minus seven kids TV. Yep. Oh, God. Two seconds longer. Steve. Murphy's Law. No. Mark Lincoln. The Tomorrow People. No. No, 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 we're good. No. Sam. Murphy's Murphy's well. That was That's all in the weakest. Anybody else? I know it's 70s. Yeah, it's Five and Tony. Five and Tony. I know it. I know this. Go on. Has everyone done it? Yep. It's Cat Weasel. Cat Weasel. Cat Weasel. At the door there, you'll see Lee, who's the publican here. And again, just like his mother, who gave a round of applause and showed him the appreciation. Big boy, do it right away. <laughs> Number four, on which city? Yeah. On which river does the city of Lancaster stand? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Balloon, yeah, correct. Oh, Lancaster. Something excited about the Lancaster question, he got his buddy's drowned in it. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. CJ pushing it. The non alcoholic cocktail consisting of Coca Cola and Grenadine is aimed at the which popular actor and singer of the 1940s and. Sam. Sam no. The 1940s and 50s. No, Carter! Steve. Jim Reeves, but he's 60s. No. Tony? Rita Hayworth? No. Michael. Richard No. Anybody else? That's a guess, Marilyn Monroe. No. Mark? Bill West? No. Chuck Gable? No. Is that everybody? Looks like it's Yeah. Roy Rogers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Number six, Ethel Jane Kane, Pat Simmons, Brian Cobby, Clive. Speaking club. Yeah, yeah. not with the voice of the speaking club. Number seven, between 1976 and 1979. Whoa! I'm sorry, I thought somebody, somebody <laughs> was going to in there. Number seven, between 1976 and 1979, Rodney Marsh made 94 appearances. Steve. QPR. No. Tony. Manchester. No. Michael. Fort Lauderdale. No. Made 94 appearances for which? <laughs> Jack. No. no. These are minuses. They're all minuses. They're all minuses, yeah. They're all minuses, yeah. Um, for which Florida Bay? 94 appearances for which oh, Florida no. Bay? Oh, no! Actually, it is now. Mark. Miami Galaxy. No. no. Clive. Tampa Bay Road. Well done, Clive. Well done, Clive. Well done, Clive. 
Oh, oh, so late in his career. Steve Tony, Michael Jack, Mark. No minus for me. No minus for me. No minus for Mark. The player gets the two here. Yeah. Alright, got you. Okay. Guarded my minuses. Number eight. Baccarat. Nana Mascori. Vicky Leandros. Have all represented which. Tony. Yeah, I represent to which country the Eurovision Song Contest. Back at from Tenerife. <laughs> <laughs> How are you meant to get that one? Good answer. Number, 20, number nine, sorry. Age 29 and 109 days when she was elected in 2003. Which former minister and former MP is the oldest person to hold the title of baby of the House of Commons? Not harder. Steve. Yvette Cooper. Yep. Mark? Nicky Morgan? No. <laughs> Come on, here we go. <laughs> Sam? Wood. No. Someone say Smith, for God's sake. I can't remember what you said. Anybody? Oh. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> Sorry? No. 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 Don't you? Oh, God, that's a no. That's because everybody's in Sarah Tether. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, born in Dunoon. Yeah. Number 10, born in Dunoon in 1943, Percy Kent Smith is the real name of which actor who played the seventh incarnation of Doctor Who? Michael Sylvester yeah. McCoy. You fat fan and you beat me by that. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, oh, I'm waiting <laughs> 16, not 16. Well done. Okay. Number 11. Compound of zinc oxide and ferric oxide. Which substance is commonly used to relieve sunburn, chicken pox, and insects? Steve. Camomile? Camomile lotion? Kilk? No. Can't accept that. Definitely not. Mark? Calamine. Yeah, it's calamine lotion. So, are you going to, like, we made a present early on that, close enough, you think? You away. said chamomile, didn't you? Rather yeah, 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 definitely. No, definitely it's not right. Steve has tea on him. Steve, it's wrong. Steve, yeah, well, you get fucked up. It's wrong. It wasn't. It wasn't. I did. Fucking minus one. Make everybody happy apart from me. That's what always happens. Go on. I don't think it was an interrupt. Was it? No, it wasn't an interruption, Steve. Not an interruption. Two points for Mark. Yeah. Doesn't look it yeah, always just have to say. No, I got lucky with chamomile. No, I got lucky with chamomile. You know, right, number twelve. Which island in the Thames estuary was occupied for several Not days? Harder. Steve. Eel Pie Island. No, Tony. No. Um, that's two. That's a minus one for both of those. What? You finished it. Occupied by several days, for several days, by Dutch forces in 1667. After they captured the force, fort at Sheerness. <laughs> Sam. Dogs. No. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Shepherd. Yeah. Dogs. Dogs. Shame. Well, Sean McLaughlin. Sean McLaughlin. Just give him Michael rather than Jack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In the wrong order. Sorry, I was a tip two off. How, how many is going to go? Two. Two. Basically. Um, like, you know, yeah. so this, this is next one's thirteen. So that's that way. Okay. Three questions. We'll give a round. Of yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. Madness and civilization, discipline and punish, and the history of sexuality are all works. Oh, we didn't reset. We didn't reset. Sorry. I'm really... Somebody pressed anyway. Didn't well, I just want me. Go ahead. Yeah. Foucault. Yeah, Michel Foucault. <sighs> That's two, two. two points for Clive. Two for Clive. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Two yeah. points. Yeah. 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 Reset. That helps. Yeah. 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 Poetic yeah. yeah. Really good. Yeah. Right. Okay. Number 14, which US beer was advertised for many years with the slogan, the beer that made Milwaukee famous? Steve. No, that's a stupid. No. Mark. Miller. No. Sam. Strive. I don't know. No. Michael. No. Budweiser. No. Anybody else? No. I know what it is. No loss. No. It's a weird name. Anybody? Chesapeake? No. What, what is it? Schlitz. Schlitz. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, 15. The John Betjeman poem, which ends with the lines, You knelt a boy and rose a man, and thus your lonelier life began. 
was written to commemorate which royal event of 1969? <laughs> Steve. The marriage of Princess Anne. No. <laughs> Sam. Nice class. Jack. Uh, Nice. Tony. Uh, Prince Charles and yeah. 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 Uh, for five questions to go. We've got Sam Roberts on three, Jack Bennett on 20, Tony Walmsley on three, previous winner and top seed today, Mark Laycock on 17, Steve Kidd on six, uh, Clive Dunning on 16, Michael McPartle on 15. So Jack Bennett looking fairly comfortable with five to go. <laughs> Two big shots behind you, but four pounds behind you. Um, good luck, everybody. Uh, I think we're all pulling for Jack. Let's go. Final five. Number 16, which 1935 novel and account of the Razor Gangs of Glasgow's Global District by Alex Alexander MacArthur and H. King DeLong shares its title with a theme tune to the TV series Taggart? No! Steve. The Razor Boys. No. Sam. No, Mm, no. I accept that. Tony. Mean Street. No. Mark. These Mean Streets. No. Three to go. Don't know. No, you were very close, Sam. It's No Mean City. Oh, this is No Mean City. I was getting the one. 17. Which singer was the uncredited lead vocalist on 5,000 Volts' 1975? Tony. No. Yeah, I'm on fire. Tina Charles. Number 21, prior to his appearance... 21? Uh, sorry, I've, I've, I've had to swap one out because he was almost out of the What number is this? This is 18. Sorry. Number 18, prior to his appearance in Phoenix Nights, Dave Spikey was the host of which daytime quiz show for its final series in 1995? No. Mark. That's unlucky. He did do balls on later on. These are my response. Yeah, these are my response as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, they fucking. Uh, <laughs> the host of which daytime quiz show its final series in 1997? Tony. No. Michael. Chill out. Who was? Michael. Michael. Oh, take out TV's on. Uh, three, two to go. Yes. Uh, Michael has not done himself a disservice there, going up to 17 with Jack on 20. You can still do it, Michael, two correct answers. <sighs> Number 19. Immortalised yeah, immortalized in the 1967 Glen Campbell song, which US state capital? <laughs> Jack. Oh, shit. Wichita. No. Okay. Uh, Steve. Is she a state capital? Uh, Galveston is not state capital. No. Tony. I was going to say that as well. Oh no, he's so easy. Ah. You've actually had a point of view. Yeah, it's one point away from one of these. Ah. Sam. No. Mark. Ah. Providence. No, I'll read the rest of the question. <laughs> Which US state capital is the only one with a population of over one million people? Yeah. Oh. So easy. Oh. Have a go. Five. No. Phoenix? Yeah, it's Phoenix. 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 Oh my god, it's all square! Oh. Oh, no. Sorry mate, I should have picked that up for you. So it's all square going to the last question with Mag McPartland and Jack Bennett. Ty, this so is... Uh, Jack! What the... F F Why is your breath? Fire. Oh. Oh, by the way, in the case of the draw, it's a 12 up, first yeah, 12 player. Someone else needs to get the draw. Okay, final question, number 20, is all important, this, isn't it? Which Ingmar Bergman film provided the inspiration for Stephen Sondheim's musical Little Night Music? Tony. Nice Cabiria. Sorry? Nice Cabiria. No. Oh, no, it's also going to say first of all. Clive Dunning. That's what I was going to say first of all. Let's go straight on with the well, playoff. Stay in the same place as you are. I'm going to try and vary the genre for you. These are two man questions, not eight man questions. So these will be gentler than the ones I said in the first round. First to 12. First to 12. Points, not 12. 12 points. Uh, same, same kind of uh, setup. Okay, good luck. Who reached number one in the UK on the 13th of September 1980 with Feels Like I'm in Love? Jack Bennett. 
Three, two. Charles. No. A look at okay. Michael, do you want to go? Yeah, it's, uh, oh, no, sorry, sorry. It feels like I'm in love. Now, finish the question. Minus one for you. To uh, Kelly Murray. Two oh. points. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What does the musical term lentor mean? Jack, Jack Bennett. Slowly. Yes, slowly. slowly. You're on one point, Jack. How many points are there on a traditional ship's compass? Michael. 32. Correct. In 1960, where in the USA was the, Lin was the Winter Olympics held? Jack. Incorrect. Oh, lucky. No, no minus. Squaw Valley is correct. Yep. Nice. What is the county town of the Irish county of Cavan? No. Michael? Watford. No, it's Cavan. <laughs> Latin. What is the literal translation of you as well, Brutus? Jack Bennett, two points. It's correct, yes. Which country? Which country did England slash the UK significantly beat twice on Saturday the 26th of May 2012? Have a guess, it's free. Jack Bennett. Australia. Not Australia, you're unlucky. Meg, Michael? Um, New Zealand. It's Norway. In football and the Olympic Sun Contest. <laughs> Next one. You can tell double tap if you want. Score? What's the score? The score is three six to Michael. Right. What was significant about the death of Michael Barrett on the twenty sixth of May, nineteen sixty eight? Michael just the last public execution in the is the correct answer. Yeah. Oh, great answer. Eight points for three. Name that mile long road in the east end of London, where on Sunday, October the fourth. 1936, a clash. I'm afraid it's not minus one, and you've got the luxury of like a page. A clash between the police overseeing a legal march by the British Union, Fasc Union of Fascists, led by Oswald Mosley, and anti fascists, including local Jewish, socialist, Irish, and communist groups, heralded the death knell for pre war British fascism. Tell me what it is, Jack. Cable stream. Jack knew it all the way, it was all over it. Morse code. What letter is represented by two dots? Michael. 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 It's correct. Oh, right. Brure, Fair Isle, Bresse, and Yell. Jack. Yes, it is definitely Shetland. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that puts you on, on four, Jack. Okay, right. Uh, which European country was formerly ruled by the House of Braganza? Jack. Just, he's, got, he's got it as well. He's got it. Oh, Sit down there so the camera can be on you, please. <laughs> can you check the cameras on, on, on all the question masters? I appreciate that. Described by 10-6, described by some historians as the darkest figure within the Nazi elite, who was attacked in Prague? <laughs> Ooh, Michael, Michael. Hedrick. Oh, it's a win for Michael. What a terrific <laughs> game. Right to the wire. I'm going to put it on loop. The net winner today for the second month in succession is uh, my man, your man, Emery's man, Mr. Matt Laycock. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That, yeah, that's, uh, that's yours. Uh, and uh, I believe you get some money as well. Yeah, you do. You want to get some back change. Back. Get worse in a bit. Sit down here, Matt, next to me, will you? Because uh, I, I need to get some drinks while you bail me out. Uh, the Lancashire champion, Gross, 
after an incredibly technical ball competition. I actually thought, you know, the, the, I don't know how that happened. Uh, apart from the fact that Bloody Michael's a fantastic player. Jack, 19 still? This way. Pass it off to Michael, he can kiss it on his way back, it could have been yours. Give Michael a lovely round of applause. <laughs> and we're going to work out.